so let's plug the adapter so this is the dc connector we have 19 volts output in the adapter so we have to set the multimeter to 20 volt dc once the multimeter is seated to 20 volt dc let's track voltages in the motherboard let's put the black probe of the multimeter into ground in the motherboard we have ground everywhere this is ground this is ground here also we have ground the negative terminal of the capacitor also is ground this also could be used as ground so let's select this ground for example let's put the black probe here and then check the dc connector first we have to find 19 volt here as you can see we have 19 volt in this side also we have find 19 volt as you can see in the multimeter then this is the mosfet or switch we have to find 19 volt in the source we have 19 volt why this is source because as you can see here we have this dot here means this is the pin number one so three pins are for source and this is the gate in the gate basically we have to find eight volt so let's check we have eight volt in the multimeter so once we have 19 volt here in the source and we have eight volts in the gate as the control signal so 19 volt should pass to this side to drain let's check the drain we have 19 volt as you can see so the 19 volt or the v in is good for this motherboard so because here we have the dc connector and the battery connector means this is the charge circuit here we have the charge ic and over here we have the super io the ic that is responsible for the whole power in the motherboard so without wasting time here let's go directly to the current sense resistor and check 19 volts so let's see the back of the motherboard so this is the current sense resistor the current sense resistor is the point where the voltage will be distributed to all circuits in motherboard so let's put the black probe in the ground once again and check this current sense resistor we have to find 19 volt as you can see in the multimeter this induction also should hold 19 volt why because it is connected with the current sense resistor so from this point the 19 volt or the v in because it could be 19 volt it could be 18 volt 15 volt 12 volt 9 volt depending on the type of the motherboard or the laptop so from this point the v in will be distributed to all circuits in the motherboard I will prove for you right now and then continue tracking voltage so to prove to you why the voltage will be distributed from this point to all circuit in the motherboard let's put the multimeter to the continuity option or buzzer option here we have the continuity option so the multimeter is seated correctly to the continuity option and you can check by connecting these two probes each other as you can see so before checking continuity in the motherboard let's first unplug the connector then let's put one probe here in the current sense resistor and check all circuits in, in the motherboard let's check for example the cpu circuit this is the input always this inductor means input do you see we have low resistance means this point is connected with this point let's check this circuit also this is the north bridge or chipset circuit as you can see means this point is connected to this let's check this circuit also this is 3 volt 5 volt circuit 
as you can see means also this point is connected to this point so let's check another circuit here we have this inductor this is the graphical circuit as you can see means this point is connected to this point here basically we have another circuit this is the ram circuit as you can see so this current sense resistor is connected with all circuits in the motherboard so many of you will ask how i know all these circuits easy guys stay tuned and i will teach you how you can spot any circuit in the motherboard and differentiate between the cpu circuit the graphical circuit the north bridge circuit the memory circuit the 3 volt 5 volt circuit to charge IC circuit etc please stay tuned at the end of the video I will teach you this circuit and how you can know about it just visually so once we check the connection between the current sense resistor and all circuit in the motherboard let's plug again the adapter and continue tracking voltages so the black probe in the ground but don't forget to set the multimeter again to 20 volts so the multimeter is set to 20 volts successfully so the black probe in the ground we have 19 volt here in the current sense resistor if we move directly to this circuit this is 3 volt 5 volt circuit if we check this inductor we have 19 volt and if we move to north bridge circuit here we have inductor we have 19 volt please remember that always this inductor refer to the input of any circuit let's move on to the next inductor this one here this is the cpu circuit those are mosfets those are capacitors so let's check we have to find 19 volts as you can see if we move on to the next circuit this circuit is the graphical circuit we have this inductor we have to find 19 volts and let's move on to the next circuit here we have the ram circuit if we check the input induction we have 19 volt magic no it's logic just stay tuned you gonna understand everything and please don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and other interested people like yourself so now we check the main voltage in all these inductors now let's move on to the secondary voltage let's begin with 3 volt always and 5 volt always so let's see the other side of the motherboard because here as i told you before we have the dc connector and the battery means this is the charge circuit over here okay where we have the charge ic as you can see and the mosfets so usually next to the charge ic you gonna find two inductors these two inductors means one inductor for 3.3 volt and the other inductor for 5 volt you see we have capacitor always inductor with capacitors means one channel this is 5 volt channel this also this is 3.3 volt channel and this is the 3 volt 5 volt control ic this is the ic that controls these two channels so let's check these two channels using the multimeter so always the black probe in the ground this time let's put the black probe in the negative terminal of the capacitor this is polarized or electrolytic capacitor we have here plus and here minus so minus means ground so let's check this first inductor we have 5 volt in the multimeter if we check also the plus terminal of the capacitor we have 5 volt in the multimeter also if we check this test point we have as you can see 5 volts in the multimeter so this is 5 volt channel let's check this channel also this inductor first 
we have 3.3 volt in the multimeter the plus terminal of the capacitor 3.3 volt the test point we have 3.3 volt so the 3 volt 5 volt circuit is good the charge circuit is serviceable 100 percent the 3 volt 5 5 volt circuit also is serviceable 100 percent so now let's check other circuits but before checking the other circuits including cpu circuit north bridge circuit ram circuit etc let's speak a little bit about the cpu io the ic that controls the power in the whole motherboard let's verify some voltages here so let's put the black probe in the ground i'm going to check the cpu io and i will ask you a question to assess if you understand or not so let's check this fuse for example we have here a fuse so let's check this fuse we have 3.3 volts let's check this resistor for example here we have 3.3 volt this resistor also we have 3.3 volt this capacitor we have 3.3 volt let's check this capacitor over here we have 3.3 volt this resistor 3.3 volt this capacitor 3.3 volt let's check this capacitor for example also 3.3 volt please could you explain to me why we find 3.3 volt everywhere around the ic i will tell you why because the majority of inputs and outputs for the SIO or super IO are 3.3 volts or less. So this is a trick or a method that you can use to check the serviceability of this IC. When you find the majority of the component around this IC measure 3.3 volt means the IC is good means the inputs and outputs are good okay so please remember to check the serviceability of this ic you can just check the component around it if you find that 3.3 volt is exists everywhere around the ic means the ic is good of course you can use another method by checking the heat by putting your finger above the ic and checking the heat of the ic if the ic is overheated its temperature is not normal means the ic should be replaced now let's move on and check the voltages in the other circuits in this motherboard we have as you can see the 3 volt 5 volt circuit why because always for 3 volt and 5 volt you will find two inductors next to each other then of course we have here the cpu so these two channels are for cpu this is the cpu circuit here and this circuit is for the north bridge okay this circuit is for the graphic card usually you will find the graphic card in the right side of the cpu and the north bridge in the left side of the cpu this basically this circuit is for the ram over here we have the ram and we have each circuit and for the ram if you focus here we have the ram model we have ddr3 and the voltage is 1.5 volt means if we check this capacitor we gonna find 1.5 volt so let's check this capacitor for example so again let's plug the connector and go to the ram circuit let's put the black probe in the ground here for example and let's check if we can find here 1.5 volt as we have here or not so let's check we have zero volt means what exactly let's check the cpu circuit for example and look for if we can find any voltage this is the cpu circuit let's check the inductor we have zero volt why let's check for example the graphic card we have zero volt let's check the north bridge circuit we have zero volt why but if we check 
the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit we have 3.3 volts we have 5 volt circuit but for this circuit we have no voltage why i will explain you why let's move on to the schematic please tell me do you remember these states i made a video where i explained to you do laptop motherboard states or power states i will put the link for the video in the description box please don't miss out and don't hesitate to watch that video a very important video for anyone who wants to excel in motherboard troubleshooting here we have state as you can see as i told you before as we have seen in that video we have s5 state s4 state s3 state s1 state and s0 state so why we find this two voltage here 5 volt and 3.3 volt and we cannot find here the ram the voltage for the ram and also for the processor why because of these states as you can see here in the schematics don't worry you're gonna understand please don't worry is five means soft off means the computer totally off okay and then s4 we have suspend to disk s3 we have suspend to ram so in s3 state you we we can't find the voltage here until the full on where we have s0 so let's see this table also do you see here we have three volt always here as you can see is on always on okay in all states three volt always and five volt always are always on in three states but for the cpu for example power it is on just in s1 and s3 now for this computer we are in s5 because we just plugged the adapter we didn't press the power button so let's see the voltage for the ram also as you can see 1.5 volt is on just in s1 means when you press the power button and the laptop comes on so guys i hope that you understand why we didn't find any voltage in this circuit for the ram for the processor for the graphic card etc so i have some other voltages here that is very important so let's put the black probe in the ground as you can see and check the battery connector so for the battery connector we have to find three voltages in this pins as you can see we have 3.3 volt in this pin another 3.3 volt and the tours 3.3 volt so 3.3 volt in three pins if we check this pin do you see nothing 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 3.3 volt first the second the third these two are ground these three when these three voltages are present means the charging working properly please here i have two components that you have to pay attention to this is two inductors r12 and l 13 this inductor should always hold 19 volts as you can see you will find usually these two inductors in the back of what so let's see here we have this connector this is for lcd for the display so if you have any problem with the display you should go and check directly these two inductors if 19 volt is absent you can just make a bridge from here to here in order to power the lcd connector okay <clears throat> so that's it guys i hope that you understand this video please if you find this video useful and helpful please don't forget to like the video and share it with other interested people and of course your friends because you can help you by doing this by liking the video and share it in order to be viewed by other person and please don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon and for anyone who want to join me in my patreon page you are very welcome